Uh, something like this guy, I want to find the missing base this time. And uh, again, what's interesting here is when you look at this thing, you know, this guy, the 12, is the average of these two things. Okay, so the 12 is the guy in the middle. And so the mistake the students make here is they'll just do the average of the 12 and the 18, and they'll get some value uh, uh, in between the 12 and the 18. The value they get is 15. But you see that that doesn't make sense for x. So x should be the smallest of these guys. Okay, And really, when you have two of these values, it's really easy to find the third one. Watch this. When you look at the difference between this guy and this guy, it's six units, right? So the difference between this guy and this guy, because that 12 is supposed to be in the middle, well, the difference there has to be the same. So if the difference here is 6 units to get from the 18 to the 12, the difference here has to be 6 units, meaning that this guy right here, it's got to be a 6. Okay. And a great way to check this is check it with the average. Let's check this thing and make sure the average works. 18 plus 6 divided by 2. That gives me a 24 over 2 which does indeed give me the 12, which is that middle value, okay? And so again, if the, if the value in there is the average, it means that it's the value in the middle, which means the value in the middle has to be the same distance from each of these guys. So if it's six to get to one of them, it's six to get to the other one.